Hi and welcome to Jay Mount with Detail. I'm Johnny and today I'm going to be showing you how to tune a tattoo machine as a beginner. Um, so I've got two tattoo machines set out in front of me at the moment. One is a liner, one is a shader. Now these are coil machines, so these are more old school tattoo machines where a lot of tattooers will start off with. And it's one of the best things as a beginner to learn tattooing with as well. Um, so a quick, I'll show you a quick and easy way how to tell the difference between a liner and a shader. Um, so this here is a liner machine, so you can see the spring is a set a lot further back, and also the contact screws set a lot further back because these run a lot faster when you're doing your liner work. And this is a shader machine, so this is set out so the springs a lot further forward, and of course, so the contact screws a lot further forward because these run obviously less of a speed, which gives you a nicer shade. So if you want to learn how to set up a tattoo machine as a, as a beginner, I've got a video to that as well, which I'll pop in the link up by there and also in the description down below if you want to check that out, please do. Um, so just to show you quick and easy as a beginner how to tune a tattoo machine, I've set this one up so it's sounding not right at all, it's terrible. So I'll show you the easiest way to tune the machine um, so you can obviously um, do that yourself when you're learning. So... This here is obviously your contact screw, this is your spring, this is your armature bar, and this is your nipple, which obviously the, the eye of the needle goes on to. Uh, as you can see, I've got, I've got a grommet on there at the moment, holding that on. So, the easiest way to do it, at, at, to start off with, is this contact screw should be sitting at the one o'clock position. Which means, as you can see there, the bottom of the contact screw will be sitting nice and flush on the spring. Now, as soon as I've done that, it'll start sounding slightly better. Now, what you want to do then is twist this spring in. And you can, you can just listen to the difference of the sound. Now, what a lot of other people do is pull down the armature bar. And the distance between the spring and the contact screw should obviously be a certain amount. And there should be a certain amount of flex in the spring as well. Um, now, a lot of people do that um, positioning with coins um, to make sure the position is right. But also, you obviously said you can do it by sound. So as you're moving this contact screw in, the machine will start sounding better. Now, that's running a bit too fast. So if you bring it back out a bit. Is sitting about there as you can hear the sound of it sounding much better now obviously at the moment the machine again might be running a little bit too fast but you can tune that down your voltage until you get it sounding nice now that's just a quick and easy way just to get your machine tuned correctly um, I'm only beginning myself so obviously I'm learning the same as you but that's just a quick and easy video just to show you how to tune the machine. Now I'm also going to do a video on how to set up, obviously a tattoo kit. Um, so I'll pop that in the link at the end of this video as well so you can check that out. Um, obviously both of these machines sound slightly differently when you tune them. But as I said this was only a, an easy video as a beginner just to show you how you learn how to tune the machines and obviously when you're learning, obviously how you get to learn the different aspects of the tattooing as you go on as well. So I'll see you all soon and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe um, and also check out my art as well on my channel as well. And I'll see you all soon. Thank you. Ta-ra!